So what popular snack should you not waste any of your money on when you go on your next trip to Walt Disney World? Let's talk about it. My name is Alessa. Welcome to that Disney girl if you're new to the channel. What's up? Um, today we are going to be talking about something that I feel like a lot of people talk about and I just want to talk about it too because I think it's always a fun subject to talk about food and Disney World and I have definitely had my fair share of meals and snacks when I go on all of my vacations to the parks and there are a lot of snacks that I feel like everyone else told me I need to get or meals that I need to have or restaurants I need to visit and then I have them and they're like very mediocre. So I just wanna talk about all of those today and say what are these overrated food options at Disney World that everyone talks about that are actually not that good? And maybe although you wanna be able to say you did it, maybe just do it once and then not again or just keep doing it, I don't know, it's totally up to you. But in my opinion, these are things that I'm not gonna be lining up to do on my next vacation. Also, if I sound like super congested, I'm trying so hard not to, but allergies are whooping my butt. So if that's happening to you, then... <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna try to like mix it up here and not just stick to like iconic park snacks, but ones that people just deem as popular, um, just so that we're not talking about ones that are consistently talked about, I feel. Okay, but let's get the ball rolling with one of those options. We're gonna head on over to Disney's Hollywood Studios um, in the incredible... Incredible Center? No. What is that incredible land? Municiburg. It is called Municiburg. Okay. So in Municiburg, you can get key lime pie on a stick and like, I don't know why it looks really awesome. I feel like I've seen it in so many Disney Instagram shots and also I feel like so many people love it. And like, I think this thing is for me doomed from the start because I'm not necessarily the biggest key lime pie lover. I don't even know why I purchased it. I just thought that it would be like super refreshing. Um, it's basically like this white chocolate exterior except it's colored blue. And then on the inside you get what would be a key lime pie with crust and it's almost like a cheesecake texture. And I thought it was gonna be like super refreshing because that has like the key lime taste, but it was really, really heavy and um, I was eating it on a super hot day. So I'm not saying that it's bad, because if you love key lime, then you probably will love this. But for me, I just thought that I've seen it on so many people's Instagram feeds and aside from getting a cute photo with it, I'm not sure that that's the snack that I would go to on my next vacation over there. Okay, but now we're gonna go kind of basic again and I put out a poll on Instagram asking people what their underrated and overrated snacks were and we'll go through a few of those at the end of the video. But this was something that actually a lot of people said and I think I have some solid points for it. So before you like hate on me down below in the comments, just hear me out, okay? I think that the Mickey, oh my God, my allergies. I think that the Mickey premium bar is overrated. And here is why, I think it's like an okay snack, but I feel that other people almost hype it up to be one of the best snacks that you can get at Walt Disney World. And it's really not because it is nothing special. It's literally ice cream coated in chocolate. You can get this no matter where you live, just maybe in a different shape. And I also think that if we're talking about ice cream at Disney World, there are so many better options. Even if you wanna stick to the basic ones, I am a definite huge, fan of the Mickey ice cream sandwich that you can get at any location you can get that premium bar for. I think that when you're eating it it's a lot less messy because you're not going to crack and have chocolate fall everywhere. It melts a lot slower which is once again really good for the Florida heat um, and I just think it's tastier personally in my opinion. But once again if we're talking about ice cream options I think there are so many better options around Walt Disney World. Even if you're in Magic Kingdom and you want to get like a soft serve at Anti Gravities or any of the milkshakes there. I think that those are so much more tasty and are gonna have a little bit of a different flavor at least than what you can get at your local convenience store. That being said, I'm not saying that it's bad at all and we love that classic Mickey shape, so like definitely keep on getting that premium bar. I just don't think that it's gonna live up to the hype if you've been seeing it all over Instagram and other social media platforms and this is your first vacation going to Walt Disney World. Okay, so for our next item, to me this was something that started off as something that was super underrated and then so many people started talking about it and buying it that it became overrated in my opinion. Let me know if you agree with it, but what I'm talking about is the Cheshire Cattail over in Magic Kingdoms. Trying the Cheshire Cattail for the first time in Tomorrowland. This bad boy is 549, not 550, but 550 basically. Fine. 
I took a bite before I even did this. It was good, but it's very sweet. I really want water. It has like chocolate in the middle. And it's like a croissant. But it's good. So what this is, it's basically like a croissant that's gonna have little chocolate chips in it and then on top is gonna have an icing that is both pink and purple that matches the theme of the Cheshire Cat. Um, and I don't think that it's a bad meal. I just feel like so many people go off about this Cheshire Cat tail saying that it is so good. And when I had it, it was kind of dry and I got it right in the morning, like just as the park opened. So I don't think that that's kind of an excuse that it can hold. But in my opinion, if you're gonna wanna get like a really good croissant, like some really flaky pastries, if I went over to the France Pavilion in Epcot, that croissant would taste so much better and so much more fresh and buttery. And I can say that because I've had pastries over in that pavilion before and I know Disney can do even better. And maybe I just had a bad batch, I'm not sure. I just personally would rather have a fresh churro than have one of those cattails again. Okay, so the next thing that I think is overrated is the gray stuff because it's supposed to be delicious and it is just quite frankly not. So the gray stuff has kind of been evolving over time. I've seen it in both forms where you're basically just going to be eating a whole bunch of icing that's flavored gray or it's going to be in a cupcake form. Once again, you're going to have a lot of icing on the top and but then you'll at least like have a bit of cake on the bottom. In both renditions, I think that the flavor is pretty bland. I think that it is way too much sugar to have, especially on a theme park day. And personally, when I eat too much sugar, like really strong sugar, especially in icing form, I get a headache. So that is like a headache inducing snack for me that I am choosing to stay away from for the rest of time. That's a lie, like if someone offered it to me, I would definitely eat it again. But the point is, Be Our Guest restaurant is something that people book so far in advance for. They're so excited to go to this place on their trip. These reservations are so coveted and a lot of the food in this restaurant, now I'm going even broader, I'm talking about the restaurant as a whole. I think that it's like, it's just nothing to write home about, especially for the price points that you're gonna be at. I think that when it opened, like I was there probably in like the first couple months that it was opened, I thought that the ballroom was beautiful. Uh, the food was relatively a lot cheaper, so even if it wasn't anything spectacular, it made that okay. And I do think that the food was higher quality, but then now, as we know, uh, the prices have really been jacked up and then everything is just so unattainable and hard to get. It makes this thing become even more coveted and coveted and the popularity just keeps on building. And unfortunately, I just don't think the food, especially the gray stuff is anything, um, to be worth what people are saying about it. But that being said, the location itself, in my opinion, is worth giving it a visit because if you don't have a reservation, you can't enter this restaurant. And seeing the ballroom being literally in the film, if you're someone who loves Beauty and the Beast, definitely worth it. Okay, and the last food that I'm gonna be talking about is something that is overrated and nope, I will not get myself near that. That is gonna be the turkey leg, which if you don't agree with me, I don't understand how you don't agree with me because you're literally eating like, I don't know, just to me like, I feel like when I see the turkey leg, that thing is like a pink piece of meat. And I feel like I've grown up to learn that you shouldn't eat pink meat. Like that means it's undercooked or bad or something. And I'm sure that it's not. It just like for me is a definite turn off. Um, I, it's like brined in salt. It has the most calories out of any snack you could possibly get at Disney. I'm not exactly sure on that number. I'll pop in and now, but I think it's between one to 2000 calories for a little snack. It has over 5,000 milligrams of sodium in it, which is more than the average person should eat in three days. And you're gonna be eating that in like 20 minutes, which is disgusting. I feel like I'm being so harsh on turkey leg lovers and I get it. I feel like it's like a staple theme park attraction food. Um, I've, just, I've just seen it described as eating chewy tendons and like, Like honestly, just eat some dried out chicken fingers at like Cosmic Rays. I feel like that's a better option. And okay, like my friends who are gonna watch this are going to laugh because I think that this place is so freaking overrated. I don't understand why anyone eats there. I especially don't understand why you would ever go to Walt Disney World and eat at this location, but this is Rainforest Cafe. And look, I get it. At the Rainforest Cafe, you can have animatronics. It's a totally different dining experience. I just think that the food there is plain nasty. Like when I get their mozzarella sticks, it's rock solid and I don't understand why. Like why can't it be ooey gooey mozzarella? That's all I want. 
But alas, it is not. And a lot of their food is quite bad. And I feel like so many people go and visit there. And in Disney, there are gonna be two locations. One in Disney Spring, which is definitely something that attracts a large crowd. And the other is gonna be at Animal Kingdom. And I feel like a lot of people go there because they're like, yes, this is in theme, but Animal Kingdom has so many better food options. And it's really sad if you're gonna go to Animal Kingdom and you have the option to get like an $11 bowl at Tuli Canteen and you end up spending way more money uh, at, at Rainforest Cafe and it's so disgusting. If you really want a cool experience like Rainforest Cafe, but something that you can't get in your own hometown, because as we know, Rainforest Cafe is a chain. The same owners that have Rainforest Cafe also have Dinosaur over in Disney Springs. Same sort of idea, except this is gonna be dinosaur themed. You're gonna have all of those animatronics. There is an ice cave that is literally spectacular, changes colors all of the time, meteor showers that are gonna hit, and this is gonna be very different. So if you do want that sort of like immersive, animalistic dinosaur, experience try this um I've heard the food is a lot better there when I went I only went for drinks which um high kind of high price point in the drinks like you're paying around $15 per drink but it is a very cool atmosphere and I'm glad that I was able to experience it okay so now we're gonna head on over to Instagram because I want to check out what other people thought of as overrated and um, some of these might double some of them I might not agree on um, but I'm just gonna shout a few out and yeah just for fun overrated turkey legs like I said I definitely agree um yeah turkey legs and the Mickey Mouse ice cream bar so I feel like I'm not alone on that which I love I have school bread here as overrated, which I, I've never had the school bread. This is gonna be in the Norway pavilion, I believe, at Epcot. Uh, but I've, I've heard that it's underrated, that it's really, really good, and it's like definitely a great breakfast option. So um, comment down below if you have a feeling about that. Like I said, I've never had it, so I can't fully comment. Um, Dole Whip is something that I got a lot as uh, overrated, and I also agree that it, I think that it's overrated. I don't think it's bad, and I think if you're gonna get a classic Disney snack, um, that's probably one of the better ones to get just because like um, a Mickey premium bar, popcorn, um, a turkey leg, these are things that you can get everywhere else, but I feel like eating a Dole Whip in Disney is a little bit more like classic to the park, so that's why I didn't say it, but I definitely don't think that a Dole Whip is like, the best Disney snack and one time I did a poll on my Instagram and everyone kept voting Dole Whip like over all of these like really cool Disney snacks like the churro ice cream sandwich why would you ever vote a Dole Whip on top of that I don't know but um Dole Whip is actually mentioned here a few times so a lot of people think it's overrated um the gray stuff yes agree with you ah, so much Dole Whip hate and the Mickey pretzels um, I, I don't often get the Mickey pretzels just because when I had them once they were really dry so I guess I'm kind of on the team of overrated but a lot of people tell me that they're really good so I think I need to give them another shot before I I say that um some people are saying churros are overrated I've always had such good and fresh churros at Walt Disney World. Maybe I'm super lucky, um, but for me, like I think that they're amazing and I love, love, love churros, so I can never say that they're overrated. Yeah, those are kind of, that's that's basically it. Like we're getting lots of, lots of those like classic Disney snacks. Well, there you are, folks. Thanks for listening to my personal opinion on what I think of snacks at Disney World and which ones are overrated. If you agree with me, definitely let me know down below if there are any that you think that I'm missing. Comment those as well. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. And if you like talking anything Disney, this is the channel for you. Make sure that you subscribe. But until then, I will see you guys next week. So, bye.